In this video, I'm going to show you the best strategy for defending any kind of spread formation uh, with the dollar defense. Now, if you want to get my entire dollar three two defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link to sign up for that is going to be down in the description below. I think dollar is the best defense. I don't really think it's actually particularly close. Um, and if you want to learn exactly how I like to run it with all of my different adjustments, kind of everything from the year all in one ebook, I would really encourage you to jump in the Patreon. You also get everything that we've done all season long. Um, you get all the ebooks, all the updates, everything for just 10 bucks. If you want to become a member, the links in the description. All right, guys, here's how we're going to defend tight or uh, any kind of spread out style set. So what I like to do against spread sets is we're going to put this on base alignment and we're going to put our zone coverage to match. We're going to be utilizing the play DB fire two. And I want to quickly un uh, unpack this defense with you guys um, as it pertains to spread sets. So if you ask yourself, like, what are the key players to spread sets really if you think about it there every spread set has a key player typically it's the slot receiver that can run a lot of the best routes so like on the right side here one of the best threats is going to be that tight end so we're going to man our safety up onto the tight end on this left side it's a little different because they're stacked um but what we're going to do is we're going to man up that that back side guy because he runs a lot of the best routes in the formation and then really, it's kind of simple from there. Um, what I like to do is very simply, we're going to utilize, I think vert hooks are really good um, against spread sets. But really, I just think simple thirds. Uh, put these guys in outside thirds. Uh, I would put this guy in a vertical hook. You could also put him in a middle third. Um, this is a pretty safe coverage shell for uh, any kind of spread out set. Another thing, if you think about spread sets, is spread sets struggle to block blitzes. So you can man up that slot corner on the running back, completely take him out of the equation so they can't throw the quick to the flat. And then this right here is not terrible. Like if they if they go to fade out, which is one of the best plays in tight or stack, like tell me where they're throwing the ball. Like tell me where they're going to throw the ball on this play, and I'll show you the replay here. Like there's not a whole lot that's open um, because we're trying to key in on who are the dangers. You see here, running back wheel taken away. This little snap throw, this is why we want to man up that safety. He'll take that away completely. Outside third is taking away the deep vertical here. This middle third is kind of rolling in and helping bracket this post route, which is the better route, probably the best route in the play. And then you also have this guy in the back end. Now the other thing about uh, the other thing about spread sets that's really important to understand is that spread sets don't beat man coverage that well. So because spread sets don't beat man coverage that well, we can do some things um, that can make it really really difficult. So one of the things that we can do is we could just play man to man um, across the board. So what that might look like here on is just essentially taking these safeties, manning them up on the slot receivers, and then taking the outside corners, manning them up on those receivers, and just basically playing it straight man to man. Um, this is pretty decent. Why? Because we know the pressure is coming in. So even if they run a basic concept like this, they can't beat man fast. And because they can't beat man fast in spread, you're able to really attack the formation a lot more than you can with compression because compression can beat man relatively quickly. Notice I'm bringing my safeties down. You don't have to do that. Um, but one of the other things that I want to quickly address here is also one of my favorite defenses specifically for this formation, uh, which is basically this right here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to man up that linebacker uh, and that linebacker is going to man up on the tight end. We're going to man up that outside or that right side safety on the outside player on the right. On the left side, we're going to man up the key player in this formation. Who's the key player? It's the guy in the stack. Um, it's the guy in the back end of the stack. And then we're going to third. This is a really good defense for this formation. Because if you think about the routes that that specific outside player is going to run, they're going to run a lot of vertical breaking patterns. They're not going to run it like even if they do run an out route, that third will play it. But a lot of times if you look at this, like let's go to PA Reed, for example, um, you know, you're going to get something like this uh, or you might get you might get something like. I mean, you kind of again, it varies a little bit depending on, you know, formation to formation. You know, but realistically, you could get this is a very common uh, concept. What we're seeing right here, or you know, maybe something, something like this. But basically, this idea that we're gonna get some type of 
you know, slant, slant post with this motion slant, maybe something like this. This is going to do fine. Like, you're going to be okay. That soft squat, I'd hard flat him. You could put him in a hard flat, put him in a cloud, depending on what their tendencies are. The flats are taken away. Like, you, you've got to help on that right there uh, over the middle, of course. But by the time the blitz comes in, especially if you pass commit, it's really hard to, to kind of outdo man coverage uh, against this formation. Now, last little tip that I did want to give you guys is this right here. So one of the most underrated tactics is manning up the outside cornerback on the running back. Why would you want to do something like that? Notice he doesn't move, so they don't know that he's manned up on the running back. But the beauty of what this is going to allow us to do defensively is we can now we can now do some adjustments. Let me just um, fix that. But we can do some adjustments like this over here. So if you look on the right, you see how everybody's cross man like that? Now, uh, I'm just going to spy my blitzers so there's no pressure. But I want you to watch what happens. So one of the most popular concepts that people will run from fade out would be something like this. This is very, co very common, very popular. It's going to look like this is wide open, and then that corner is going to literally break right on the ball. He's going to take that away. I think that's one of the most underrated things that you can do against spread sets because one of the ways that spread sets beat the blitz is through utilizing the running back. So when we can take away the running back, we can take away a lot uh, within this formation. So again, I would maybe take the safety, put him on the outside guy, put the linebacker on the middle guy, put that guy on the running back. That's taken care of. And then on this left side, realistically i think a simple third is really the best way to go about it and now i know as a defensive player okay who do i have to work toward uh, i know that i have to work toward that front side player if he goes on anything over the middle of the field um if i if i didn't want to do that you know then i could do i could do this i could man up this guy on the front guy and i could man this guy up on the outside guy he'd probably stay out there and now you can just run man across the board. I think man is really hard to beat for spread sets, whether it be five wide, whether it be stack, it doesn't really matter. I do think stack probably beats man the best. It's designed to beat man the best, right? But if you take a look here, you know, you could do this simple, these simple adjustments just like so. And again, Sagai is the limit from an adjustments perspective, but I do personally really like the outside third just because it gives us a lot more disguise in terms of you know how we're gonna be adjusting. And then the beauty of this is that now I know I can put all my energy over here, which is really where the best side of the formation is. Every formation has a strong, a strong set and a weak set. Find the strong set and use her that side and utilize these little uh, man ups to take away the backside. Cross banding on a dollar is so good. It's the best way to be playing defense right now. And this, if I was gonna play stack wide flex, probably one of the defenses that i would consider utilizing i think this is a really good defense uh, for this formation because you get pressure early and you don't have to worry about the right side of the field guys thanks for watching the video that's how i like to defend uh, spread sets just simply using man coverage uh, and trying to create leverage within my man coverage adjustments out of a db fire 2 base setup thanks for watching the video head down to the description if you want everything on this defense the whole ebook everything for just 10 bucks over at the patreon Gets you access to all of our ebooks all year long, all the updates, everything. Become a Patreon member today. The link to sign up is down in the description.